Well, Peter, good weekend uh, coming up for the stable uh, with some uh, nice runners uh, in the CD and also at Auckland. Let's get to uh, the Otaki meeting at Levin. Uh, the Levin at Otaki meeting. You've got three runners there. Delvine lines up in race number four. Just, just got herself into some good form the last couple of starts. Yeah, I hope she can hold it. Um, no, she's, she's doing well and she's been working well and she's happy in herself. And it's just a nice race at the, at the right time for her. Mm. That's been the trick, isn't it, uh, keeping her happy? And now that she's got herself into some form, you know, she might be able to hold it now. Yeah, well, you know, she's always on a day showing a lot of ability. And um, on an off day, she can really go bad, but we can't do anything about that, unfortunately. But, no, we're, we're happy where she, is at, at where she is at the moment, yeah. Right, let's move on to the Levin Stakes, race number six. It's the listed uh, race, Flower Bomb. Uh, first up performance was a winning one at Tauranga. Yeah, no, she's, look, she, Flower Bomb's honest. She. Everywhere she goes and races, she does her best. She just jumps and runs, and um, um, and she's got a good draw on, on um, Friday. So there's, you know, and, and I'm happy with her. Mm, we saw her even last season tackle some stakes company and get herself some black type as well. So she's well and truly up to this level. Oh, definitely. Look, she ran third in the in the, um, in the Westbury Classic last year, and look, every time she goes out, she tries her best. She's only got one row of racing, and it's jump and run, and uh, she's not very big. Um, she gets some of the good weight on Friday, so no, he's hoping um, that she can pull it off. Mm. Just looks as though she's she, she sort of ironed a few things out as well. She's uh, matured a bit a, a bit more as well over the last six, six to twelve months. Yeah, she's certainly matured in herself. She's probably a lot, lot more settled than what she used to be, um, but um, she's still got a little tendency to muck around the gates. But um, the starters are pretty good. They look after her. Mm -hmm. Vavasaur lines up in race number eight in the Group 3 Wellington Stakes. Drawn barrier number one, third in the soliloquy stakes is a maiden, and then uh, a very easy maiden when it tied up uh, last time out over the mile. Yeah, this is the first trip away for her, so um, we've planned this, this race for her, and, and so I think it's just a nice race at the right time. Yep. You've uh, had, had a little hit out as well with Shooker uh, last Saturday at Avondale, and uh, she did some nice things there. Yeah, no, she really went well. Um, they both did, actually, um, for what we asked them. But, uh, no, I, you know, I've got a bit of time for Vavasaur, so um, hopefully um, um, from a draw she, she gets a nice cosy run from there and she can show her best. Yeah, well, she really is drawn to, to do no work in the race, and she can put herself in the event as well, which is going to be helpful for where she's drawn. Yeah, no, she can put herself. She, yeah, she's pretty... Versatile, really. You can ride her anywhere you like. She's she's very good like that. Okay, Let's move on to the weekend uh, on Saturday at Ellerslie. You've got two runners there. Race seven, Emily Monk. A, a couple of runs in this preparation. Yeah, look, her first run was good. Her second run, she drew out at Auckland, and it's the day it rained late in the day, and um, she was she just couldn't handle it. And um, anyway, we just um, Michael just sat on her in the last bit, and she just went round. But um, hope she got a good draw this week. So um, Benny Colgan's riding us this week, so hopefully um, she can get a nice a better run. Yep. Nice horse lining up in the ninth and ultraviolet. Uh, first up run was when finishing second. Yeah, look, she's a lovely mare, uh, ultraviolet, and uh, we've been just taking her on quietly, but um, you know, get through this race, and then um, you know, we've got some reasonable plans for her if she comes up. And uh, but uh, she's a really nice mare. Well, as I said, you've got a pretty good team around you. Shooker, uh, we did see him in the uh, exhibition gallop last week with Vavasaur. Is he likely to try and tackle uh, the group one again down the line in the Captain Cook stakes? Yes, he's going to the Captain Cook. He's um, um, that's, we've freshened him up. He went out for a spell after he ran second in the um, Spring Classic, and uh, we've freshened him up to go to the uh, um, Captain Cook. Um, Daniel's back on the Captain Cook, um, but no, we're happy with him. Could be a, a good few weeks coming up for the stable. Uh, the big guns are starting to come out and running for you. Let's hope they can uh, can do the job for the stable. All the best for the weekend, mate. Thanks.